for guys. Yeah, I think it's off now. <laughs> Let's pray. So Jesus, thank you so much, uh, God, for uh, just gathering us together safely, God. We pray that um, you bless the food, uh, bless our fellowship. I pray that you'd be glorified in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Terry, buffet's open. Buffet's open, Terry. Eat. Let's eat. And then you said, go. I'm Time to eat. Okay, I'm with this. All right. Okay. Okay. So, don't have no egg. Uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan can't eat egg either. Anything good up here? Everything. Looks good. Dwayne, you make them chips? Well, yeah. Yes, I did. I just bagged those up. I made the peppers. Haley made this chicken salad. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Grandma, get our dogs together, have a dog play date. Yeah. Uh, if they get all these kids together, we might as well get the dogs together. <laughs> we got to dedicate all our dogs. <laughs> Mine's half yolk and my one's half the Sean. They're all 100% cute. Oh, yeah. Let's Bless you. Christians and, and why this matters um, really with our walk with Jesus. Um, first of all, just to take the spiritual component out of it for a minute, this doesn't save anybody. This doesn't change anything eternally. This is just a symbol. This is a, a symbol of the promise that Jesus really made um, with his church. Um, and it's not even necessarily for children. It's more so for the parents as well as the church. Um, really what dedication means is that um, the church is committing to, to be your partner, to be your biggest advocate um, in raising your kids um, so that they're successful, number one. Um, and really what that means ultimately is that they're fully devoted followers of Jesus. Um, we believe that's the, that's the best thing that could ever happen um, to anyone. And so um, it's our job as the church uh, to come alongside families and say, um, we are your biggest advocate, we're your biggest supporters. Um, if you need encouragement, if you need resources, we're here um, because you matter and obviously kids matter and they matter to Jesus. And so that's why we're here. Um, and so I'm going to read from you um, in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Um, this is a part of the Old Testament um, that Jewish um, scholars call the Shema. And basically what this means is um, this is kind of like if you were to ask, could you recite the Pledge of Allegiance, you probably could, right? Um, this is how familiar this was with people at this time. Um, what this was was a promise that God made to his people in the Old Testament. And this is true then. It's also true now. Um, and this is, what, this is what it says. It says, Hear, O Israel. Uh, that just means us. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and strength. And these words that I command today should be on your heart. Teach them diligently to your children. And talk of them as you sit in your home, walk by the way, when you lay down, and when you rise. And so basically what this is painting a picture of is following Jesus doesn't have to be this elaborate, hyper-spiritual experience. Following Jesus looks like all of your everyday moments are fully devoted to him. 
And as we um, aim at dedicating these, these little ones to the Lord, what this means is um, as moms and dads, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, our aim is that we are to leverage all of these everyday moments so that these guys know what it looks like to follow Jesus on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday, right? And so all of our everyday moments are all for Christ. It's not just a Sunday thing or a Wednesday thing. You don't even have to be in church. All of who you are belongs to all of who he is because of what he's done. Right? Amen. And so um, as, uh, as parents, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know who belongs to who or where or what. Um, <laughs> so generally, as, as parents, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpa, um, could we go ahead and in this moment, could we make this a sacred moment and say we promise um, to teach these little ones to follow Jesus in all of their everyday moments? And if they're not plugged into a local church experience, partner with local church so that you don't feel like you're alone, right? right. Um, nobody was designed to live life on their own. And so that's literally why the church exists, to say that, hey, Jesus has a plan for your life. He loves you more than you can ever love yourself. He wants to save you, and you're not alone, right? right. And so can we make that promise all together? Can we just agree together as a whole family? Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Yeah. We promise. We promise. Okay. Yeah. Now it's official, right? It's written yeah. in stone. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, if we could, um, if uh, parents, um, if you could come and even just like hold your little one, um, what I want us to do is I just want to have a time of prayer, um, partnering together, agreeing together, saying, hey, this is what we're agreeing to, and God's in the middle. Now we know each other. <laughs> we know each other. Yeah. Um, I just, again, I'm honored to be a part, and so Thank you. Um, just as, as parents, um, yeah. these little ones, um, you promise to, to do everything within your power to say, hey, I'm going to raise them so that they're followers of Jesus, and um, if they need help, partnership from the church, that's what we're going to kind of partner with. Yeah. Is that something you can promise? Yeah, yes. I promise, bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let's pray for these guys. Right. If you guys are comfortable, we want to extend a hand and just agree with us, and we be good. Okay. And so, Abel yeah, and okay. Mila. Right? Okay. Yes. Abel and Mila. Good deal. Good. Let's pray, guys. Uh, thank you, Jesus, so much uh, for Abel and Mila. God, in this moment, we just dedicate them uh, to your presence. God, I pray that um, all the days of their life, they would serve you. Um, so, Jesus, I pray that your grace would be on them, your peace would be on them, your love would be on them. Go before us, Jesus. Uh, we ask that their best days would be ahead because you are the center of their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Again, for Desmarie and for Sophie. Um, God, I pray that all the days of their life, God, they follow you. I um, pray that you would develop them into the young woman that um, you've designed them to be. I pray that people will come to saving faith in you because of their influence and their leadership. Um, give them grace. Um, God, give them gifts by your spirit. Um, Jesus, we ask that you would go before them, give them trust to know that you're good always. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, by the way. This is so fun. Thanks, Pastor. I'm going to get over here so I can. All right. Well, if you, again, just feel comfortable, extend the hand. Let's agree together with this family. So, Alexis and Anna. So, Jesus, thank you so much um, for Alexis and Anna. Um, and God, the story that you're writing in these uh, young girls' lives, I pray that you go before them. 
God, I pray that your faithfulness will be known to them. Um, God, I pray that your grace will continue to do a good work in their lives so that many will come to saving faith as a result of their story. And so, Jesus, give them gifts by your spirit. Give them faith. And I pray that your grace will be ever, um, ever before them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Starting with Ryan. So the cool thing about Ryan's name is in the Hebrew, it actually means a little king. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so Ryan, you are a king. All right. <laughs> um, but no, I thought that was cool because um, as Christians, literally that word means um, little Christ. Um, and so I think it's just so symbolic of everything that's happening today. We're supposed to raise the next generation to be Christ-like, little Christ, little kings, right? And so, Ryan, I think that's a pretty awesome name. You may not even have known that's what it means. So that's good stuff. Uh, let's agree together for Ryan. Uh, that God's got his hand on him, and uh, we'll pray together. Right? Jesus, thank you so much uh, for Ryan, God, and his story. I thank you that he belongs to you. God, I pray that your grace would ever be on his life. You would give him gifts by your spirit. God, you would grow him into the man that you've designed him to be so that multitudes will come to saving faith in who you are, Jesus. I pray that you continue to uh, grow him and develop him, God, so that in all things he would point to your glory and to the good of other people in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 One more. One more. Good job. Right, guys. Let's, uh, let's agree together for Autumn. Let's pray. Um, Jesus, thank you so much. Um, God, lastly for Autumn. Um, God, that you've already gone before her. You've prepared a way for her. Um, God, I pray that you continue to develop her in the woman that you've designed her to be. God, her, give her gifts by your spirit. I pray that she would always be an example in everything that she does. So that in everything, God, she would point to how good you are in her, in her life, God, and in the lives of others. And so, Jesus, give her your grace today. Give her faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good deal. Was that everybody? I think we got everybody. Awesome. Awesome. That's official. Good deal. <laughs> I think we all need to pray real quick. That'd be great. Everybody, everybody just pray again. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Right. that'd be great, man. Yeah. We're going to leave that out. Okay. We can have Rose do it. Hold on. Let's all pray together. Let's all pray together. Oh, okay. Pastor, I think you want to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Everybody get, um, here's Sophie. Come here, Sophie, come on, we're going to pray. Come on, baby. She just wants a toy. <laughs> Touch elbows. You taking a video, too? Yeah. One video and your video. Yeah, video and video. Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to get in. Good deal. All right. She's filming this whole thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess up. We're great over here. Go ahead. Hey. Let me just put my glasses. Fizz Electric can get us all. Okay. All right, guys, let's pray one more time. Uh, well, Jesus, thank you again, uh, God, for this family, uh, for this legacy that you're building. Uh, God, I pray that you be glorified in all things um, in each um, life that's represented here. God, you're writing such a unique story. So thank you that your grace. Uh, was gone before them. Um, Jesus, I pray for protection for each one of these little ones that um, you would protect their mind, their heart, um, God, their life, so that in all things they would point to your glory and to your goodness and to your gospel. So Jesus, we pray that um, out of their lives, um, God, many more lives would be changed. Uh, thank you that it's only by your grace that this happens. And so again, we just dedicate this entire family in your presence. We ask that you be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What? Okay. March birthday. March birthdays. Oh, yeah. Lance. Oh, yeah. Lance. <laughs> There's a cash prize for March birthdays. Who's in March? <laughs> well, come on. We got to sing to you. You got to help blow. Come on now. All right. You guys hold your cake here. You got to come over here. Over here. 